Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We are looking at all three sides of the connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. So we've got your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle, really looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, which we'll jump into in just a second. I'm actually using a new deck this week. Um, but we do have a different tarot deck for each side of the connection as well. And then I have the advice cards already shuffled that we'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do remember to take what resonates and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. Um, on that note, these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left, just know that's totally fine and totally normal. Again, the point is to take what resonates and helps and leave what doesn't. All right, Capricorn, on your side of this connection, you have overstepped boundaries with the nine of pentacles. This connection is or was, take it as it resonates, this could be a past connection or a present connection that you're currently dealing with, um, it very much aligned with what felt like wish fulfillment to you or what feels like wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like it seemed, maybe it seemed too good to be true in the beginning or maybe it just like, I don't know, I just feel like it met a lot of the expectations in the beginning that you wanted in a connection. But then over time, it, it seems like your boundary started to get overstepped. Like you were... Um, you know, starting to sacrifice more of your needs for theirs. And, you know, maybe they stopped reciprocating or showing up or um, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but I do feel like over time your boundaries um, started getting crossed. Now they have, it's all an act with the hangman in reverse. So with this all, it's all an act card. I feel like um, they're, the way that they actually feel about this connection and the way that they're acting about it are two very different things I'm seeing here. Like maybe they're acting like they're unfazed or they're unbothered or um, they don't really care about the connection or maybe, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure in what sense, but I just feel like the way that they're presenting themselves in the connection and the way that they actually feel are not, in alignment with each other. Now the hangman in reverse to me is kind of this, they, they really need and try to maintain that control. So in order for them to hang on to that control, I feel like they do kind of put on um, this act to within whatever way, shape or form keeps them in control. I hope that makes sense here. Um, I know that, that that was a lot to go over in just two cards, but then in between this connection, you both have someone has unmet needs with the wheel of fortune in reverse. So I feel like there were some negative changes that have taken place in this connection. Maybe there's a separation or maybe there are a lot of arguments happening or, um, you know, I'm not quite sure like the specifics, but with the wheel of fortune in reverse, to me, this is like blessings in disguise. So someone has unmet needs in this connection. And if I had to guess just right off the bat, I'd say that it's you Capricorn, just because you have the overstepped boundaries. Um, but I feel like there's more to it than that. So let's dive into tarot here. Let's see what it is Capricorn that you are dealing with. This is for Capricorn side of this connection to the person they were dealing with. This is for Capricorn side of this connection, please. Capricorn side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. Capricorn side of the connection, please. So think to in your side of this, things in this connection are at a pause. They're not progressing. Um, this page of pentacles in reverse is kind of giving me this vibe that I don't, okay, 
sometimes when two people, you know, are in connections that are, you know, going through hard times, I feel like the immature side can come out. Now, I'm not saying that you are immature, that you're acting immature. Maybe it's their energy. I just feel like there's this energy of like, there's not a whole lot of like communication happening. It doesn't feel like both people are like, um, are being totally honest about how they feel. I feel like there might kind of be this, um, you know, who can care, who could care less kind of game, even though both people I feel like do care very much. Um, so I don't know. That's just kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Because with the Nine of Pentacles, you still very much care about this connection. But I don't feel like you're necessarily showing that either. Maybe not. Maybe you are, but maybe not. You're maybe you're not being totally vulnerable and honest about how you really feel. And then they, you know, they're they have this. It's all in the act card. So I feel like they're not really being all that honest about how they really feel either. And maybe Capricorn. Maybe you've been honest. Maybe you've been the mature one. Maybe you've you know you've continued to show up and try to make this work, and you that was never met. So you stop trying. And that I can completely understand. Just for Capricorn side of this connection. The devil in reverse with the queen of cups. Could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't definitely don't have to be. Um, because I also kind of can see this queen of cups as being your energy. I feel Capricorn as if you're very kind, very nurturing, um, very loving, and very willing to help anyone that you that needs your help or that um, you can. Now, in this connection, I feel like you showed up as this Queen of Cups energy for the majority of the connection. You were willing to, to be everything for this person to the extent where your own needs then got sacrificed. I feel like you were, it's almost like you were giving so much love and attention and um, care to this person that your own, yeah, needs started to go unmet. Um, and then with the devil in reverse, I almost feel like there's, someone could be working through an addiction. That, that's something. Someone could be dealing with mental health issues. Or there could be a little bit of codependency in the connection. Um, this person being codependent on you or vice versa. Um, either way, I really feel like there is, it kind of feels like you don't really know how to feel about this Capricorn because I do feel like you you have care here for this person. You want or wanted it to work out. But I feel like you've done everything that you know how to make it work. And I feel like this person continues to not show up from an authentic place. And that makes it incredibly difficult for you know two people to build a connection when one person is kind of trying to to make things work and the other is just kind of trying to act like they're they're unbothered in a way um capricorn side of the connection to the person they are dealing with because for capricorn side of the connection the hierophant there's a lot to be learned from this connection. So Hierophant, Ace of Wands in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse. Because, yeah, there are your boundaries being crossed over again with the Seven of Wands in reverse. And then the Four of Swords in reverse kind of to me is talking about how your soul is pretty burnt out from this connection and the treatment that you've received in this. Because I feel like You've accepted either mistreatment or bare minimum energy for so long that now it almost feels like you can't really imagine having anything different because it has been kind of the same for so long. And maybe this is a connection that is newer for you, but this cycle has repeated in past connections because this is something... This connection is almost providing you with an opportunity to close out a pretty big cycle of not 
having your love and energy that you're giving reciprocated. Now, do I believe that we should only give love out of the expectation of having it reciprocated? No, I think that we should give love freely. But when we're talking about your time and your energy and parts of yourself and, um, you know, everything that, that you are, if you give yourself your time and your energy to somebody over and over who doesn't reciprocate that, eventually you're going to have an empty cup. And you're not going to be able to show up for yourself in any way, shape, or form if you give all of your love and your attention to somebody else. And so I feel like there is a big lesson here of needing to establish boundaries first and foremost. And if those boundaries aren't, you know, respected, then a deeper, you know, a bigger conversation would have to take place. This Capricorn side of this connection. Capricorn side of this connection, please. So you're really used to, because there you are, King of Pentacles, whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, you also could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you're really used to, in your relationships, Capricorn, um, there being an imbalance of justice. And what that can mean is you're really used to not even just reciprocation, but like like just overall treatment. Like I feel like you're used to being the person that treats other people well, that, you know, is always there for other people, that, um, you know, is, is kind and empathetic to what people are going through. But I just feel like you're used to not having that energy given to you. So I feel Capricorn as if you're really, really good at giving out love. But I don't think you're as good at receiving it. Because I feel like this connection is a reflection of the lack of receiving love that you have experienced throughout your life, possibly since childhood. And so there's a deeper, there's a deeper reason for this connection, a deeper purpose. A de you know, when you start to feel angry and resentful and you're stuck in this cycle of hoping that things will change or hoping someone will change and getting disappointed when they don't what you're doing is you're you're keeping yourself stuck in knowing you deserve more accepting less than what you deserve getting frustrated that you don't have what you deserve but continuing to invest in situations that only provide you with the bare minimum now oftentimes we only invest in situations that provide us with the bare minimum because we don't believe that anything better is possible for us and so again there's a lot more going on here than you might realize is Capricorn's energy toward the person they are dealing with. Capricorn's energy toward the person they are dealing with, please. This is Capricorn's side of this connection. Yeah, see, oof. King of Swords in reverse, Five of Pentacles. I don't think that you were treated or are being treated all that well in this connection. I mean, this can literally be like <laughs> manipulation, um, gaslighting, just not great treatment. But then at the same time, I feel like you, you still fear the loss of this connection altogether, that that's what keeps you investing in it or kept you investing in it. So you're more afraid of losing the connection, Capricorn, than I feel you are losing yourself in it. Um, maybe you're aware of that. Maybe you're aware of that treatment and maybe you know, um, you know how things are going and you're just willing to kind of, you know, be there for this person or, you know, hope for their potential, but Again, that's a cycle that you're you're keeping yourself self stuck in. So try to be aware of that a little bit. Because you, I mean, I can tell you um, that you deserve more than that kind of treatment. And that kind of love that you do deserve is absolutely out there for you. 
Capricorn side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Page of Cups, Five of Swords. You're trying to juggle being emotionally available for this person while also having to protect yourself from them. And that's like, that's just not a sustainable energy. You can't. Now, I don't mean like setting boundaries. I mean like, it's like you're trying to be emotional, emotionally available, but there's also this, this level of defensiveness that you have here. And the defensiveness stems from the fact that your boundaries have been stepped over and over again. And so a part of you, whether it's conscious or not, feels this need to um, to protect yourself, to protect yourself from this person, to protect yourself from, um, from their treatment. But then at the same time, you still continue to try to remain emotionally available for them. And what all that's doing is, is kind of wearing you down. Like, I feel like you're, you're trying to be open, you're trying to be vulnerable, but then you're also trying to keep them at a distance because you don't have, I don't feel like you trust this person. Maybe you did at one point, but I don't think you do right now. I don't think you trust this person with your heart in a way. Like you don't trust this person to treat you well. Um, and I feel like that's kind of gotten you in an energy of being really very drained from this. So let's see what they have going on. This person's energy toward Capricorn. The hangman in reverse with it's all in it. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. And more of this person's energy toward Capricorn. Okay, so this person kind of has a habit of breaking hearts. <laughs> um, the world and the three of swords, it's like, they kind of have a habit of, like this, the way that this connection is unfolding is, um, I think, kind of normal for them in a way. Now, at the same time, I feel like they are feeling this three of swords in this connection too. But then at the same time, I feel like they're putting on kind of this four of pentacles front, like I'm stable, I'm good, everything's fine. Maybe like on social media or I don't know, like it just feels like they're putting on this front of like being unbothered. But I feel like they are experiencing this three of swords. Now at the same time, this three of swords is a, is a pattern for them. This is not a new cycle for them. This person's energy towards Capricorn, please. And I, this cycle could repeat not just in their romantic relationships. Because remember, these don't have to be readings about romantic connections only. This can be friends, family members. It could be anybody. But um, this cycle can repeat in their just personal connections in general. Person's energy toward Capricorn, please. See, I feel like they want to be emotionally available for this. But they have, so Page of Cups, Page of Wands, and the Six of Swords. But they have some inner child wounds. 
that make it very difficult for them to open up, make it very difficult for them to be honest and to be vulnerable. Because I do feel like they have love for this connection. I just feel like they um, kind of like you in a way, like they want to be emotionally available, but because of their past, they're protecting themselves, right? You, you want to be emotionally available for this connection, but then at the same time, you feel like you have to protect yourself from them. Um, so kind of a similar mirror. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. star in the page of cups in reverse so they wouldn't be able to be emotionally available until they did the healing because yeah they have this it's almost like they keep you at an arm's length they keep you in this connection at a distance not because they want to but because they're afraid of getting hurt now that in turn gets them hurt but at least them getting hurt is within their control. And it's not something that's happening to them. It's something they're creating. Now, again, this isn't something that happens on a conscious level. Remember, 95% of our movements, choices, and decisions stem from our subconscious. And if we don't heal our subconscious patterns that stem from our trauma and experiences, then those subconscious patterns will control our life. Now, you know, the way that our trauma affects us isn't our fault right? It's not our fault and this or this person's fault that they act the way that they do, but it is their responsibility to heal. It's not your responsibility to heal them. And that's something we have to remember. So they'd have to do the healing before they'd be able to be emotionally available for this. And maybe they are doing the healing. That's when I say, you know, I believe any connection has the potential to make things work as long as both people are willing to do the work on themselves in order to make the connection work. Sustainable connections happen from the inner work that, yes, you do together, but also the, the personal growth that happens as well. This person's energy toward Capricorn. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. The Six of Swords. It's like they're trying to leave this connection behind. Or like, not like leave it behind, but they're trying to act like this doesn't taste them. Their action, that's what it is. It's like their actions look like they're moving on. Look like they're unfazed. But I don't think that's actually how they feel. Yeah, because there's the Two of Cups. Two of Cups, Three of Wands in reverse, Four of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So they still very much have love for this, but their actions, they're, they're acting as if they don't. Now, maybe they don't want to because it scares them, right? Now, that's not me saying this person doesn't want to care about you, but they are pushing this away. And they're doing that because they have their own past stuff that they haven't healed from. Which is why they're trying to maintain their control of this. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. Ah. There's a saying that the grass is always greener, right? We're probably all familiar with that saying, meaning that if you always think that your happiness exists elsewhere, you'll always be looking for your happiness of, outside of where you have it. I feel like this person had a tendency, um, has a tendency to take this connection for granted uh, because they kind of have this mentality 
that, how do I say this? Because I don't want this to, they're always looking for happiness in a third party. Now, that isn't just mean with you. That could mean um, in every single situation that they're in, they're always looking for something better. Now, that has nothing to do with the fact that you are not good enough. It has to do with the fact that when somebody hasn't done the healing, they will never be satisfied with the love that they're receiving. So they'll take what they can get from someone who is willing to give it to them. And then when that person, again, when that person's cup runs dry, they go looking for um, it elsewhere. Now, that's not fair to you or to, to anyone, right? Um, I don't think this is some point something that this person necessarily does intentionally. I don't think that they're like a bad person just out to freaking drain everybody. I think that they are hurt, that they're hurting. And as I say in a lot of my readings, hurt people hurt people. And I think that you, Capricorn, because you are very kind, loving, and empathetic, have taken on this person's emotional burdens and past trauma as like your responsibility to, to heal them or to be there f for them, even though they're not doing healing. Um, and that's where I feel like you have to kind of take a look at the connection and see if it's, if, if both people are willing to do the work, because I do feel like this person, it's, it's like, they're never satisfied with what it is that you give them your time and your energy and your love, but it's not because you're not good enough. It's because nothing is good enough for someone who is always looking for happiness outside of themselves instead of trying to do the healing to find that within. I hope that makes sense. This person's energy toward Capricorn, please. And there could have been a third party, but if there was, I feel like you know about it. This person's energy toward Capricorn. I used to have that mentality. Always waiting for something better to come along. Not necessarily just in my relationships, but... Um, but just in, in all aspects of my life. And it definitely would spill over into my relationships. Um, so I have empathy for this person, but it wasn't until I did the healing that I was able to get out of that mindset because that's a very unhealthy mindset for everybody involved. All right, Page of Swords in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and then there's that Devil in reverse again and the Nine of Pentacles. So you want this connection, right? Because this is the Nine of Pentacles that we started the reading with. But yet... I don't feel like this person is very good to you. I don't feel like they treat you well at all. And I feel for some reason, Capricorn, you feel a bit of an obligation to stay with them or like continue to invest in this or to wait for them or something, um, which is keeping you stuck in the cycle of just not getting what you deserve. Because the King of Cups in reverse with the Page of Swords in reverse, I mean, this is an energy of like, like, and their their communication is not kind. It's, it could even border on the line of abuse. I'm not saying that it is. I'm not here to, to say what you don't know. But I do feel like, um, I don't feel like this person is very kind to you or very good to you or very honest with you. And for some reason, you still, you know, and you, you probably know that reason, but you still really want this to work. But what I feel like that is, is it's like you want this to work while they work through their devil. Again, this could be like addiction or codependency or something. But then while they work through their devil, you're receiving this horrible treatment that I don't think that you, you deserve. Um, but again, no connection is ever doomed both as long as both people are willing to work on 
themselves in order to make the connection work. So let's hop on over to the extended. You have someone has unmet needs with the Wheel of Fortune. In reverse, I'm going to pull nine different messages. This is looking at what is the purpose of this connection? What is the best way for you to move forward in order to align with your higher self? And then I have an advice card to pull for you at the end. Thank you so much, Capricorn, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Capricorn, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Capricorn.